Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and this is American Masters at Home. I'm lucky enough to live next to the sea, and sometimes I, I used to go, at least not much anymore, I used to go clamming like that. You go and with your feet, you can feel the clam. Very often, those are going to be the very large one, the quahag, or even larger than that. And those are pretty difficult to open. I mean, you can open it, like this one is opening. You know, that's fine, I can slide my knife in it. But, but otherwise, very often, you can't. So what you do, you know, break it, break it this way uh, with the back of a thong fork. Watch out for the little pieces of, uh, of shell here, of course. I use my knife to get it loose. And the juice is in there. Okay, here, all those pieces. You can, of course, do it with smaller clam, but one, the, the large one like that, I do shower there with it sometimes. But the fritter are really good in summer. So, you open all of your clam, make sure you get all the pieces here. After that, what you want to make sure is that is to wash those clam in the, in the juice. You, know, you really wash them in the juice and get them out. I have like five clam here of that size, so probably going to have like half a, half a cup of clam, probably half a cup of juice. So again, the same idea here. You pull that out gently. You don't have to filter it really. Just pour it out gently like this. And you can see, you can see at the end, there is a thing, so make sure that there is no pieces of shell or anything like this. So, I have that half a cup of uh, clam. Then I have about, uh, I would say, three tablespoons of onion, something like this. A piece of jalapeno pepper, test it again. Sometimes it's very hot, sometimes it's hot. This one is, is, is pretty hot, so not too, too hot, so. Okay, question of taste soup. Garlic, I have a big, big clove of garlic here that will go in there, too. And, yeah, this is nicely mixed. So here now I have half a cup of flour and about, about three quarter of a, three quarter of a teaspoon of uh, baking powder. As we go in there. Remember, I had half a cup of uh, clamp juice. Again, that goes in there. As you can see, I did not put all of the liquid to start with because I don't know. I think I like it about that thickness. I need a dash of salt, or maybe a little dash of pepper too. Okay. Set. So this I'm gonna drink. Put a bit of a, a bit of vodka in there too, cracked paper, and that's my cocktail. Now, when you're ready, you put them about, as you can see here, about that size. Don't be afraid of the oil there, get close to it. That's where you're not going to burn yourself when you get close to it. If you get higher, it falls. As you can see here, I did eight, and uh, I haven't even done half of it. So you will have 15, 16 of those. Okay, so they would cook about five, six minutes at uh, three, 350, 375. And as you can see here, often a mistake, people always put it on a plate with paper towel. When I fry anything, I learned that from the Korean. You put it on a wire rack and that drain to drain the fat and all that. Otherwise, the paper towel very often gets moist underneath and it gets soft underneath. And that's how you would present them. 
maybe in there like this for a nice aperitif clam fritter in my style happy cooking Thank you for joining me. For more, subscribe to this channel or watch here. Thank you and happy cooking.